In every corner of the globe, there stand these colossal enigmas that puzzle the minds of those who dig into the past. Think about it. Could our ancestors, armed with nothing but basic tools, have fashioned these marvels? Or is there a twist in the tale, a touch of extraterrestrial finesse in the mix? Now, these cosmic visitors weren't just dropping by for a cup of tea. They left behind a cosmic breadcrumb trail. So fast forward to today, and you've got millions around the globe convinced that we've had otherworldly guests in our historical guest book. Imagine for a moment that it's not just a wild idea. What if those celestial tourists did lend a hand? Did they moonlight as architects for our ancient civilizations? Did they give our history a little extraterrestrial nudge? Now, that's a historical conspiracy worth pondering. Join us as we explore six ancient megastructures that surpass the capabilities of our current modern technology. 1. Ishi no Hoden, the floating rock from heaven. All right, check this out, folks. We're diving into the mysteries of ancient civilizations, and I gotta tell you, it's a wild ride. There's this massive megalith in Japan. They call it Ishi no Hoden. Now, this ain't your regular monument. We're talking about a colossal stone behemoth carved right out of the bedrock on a freaking mountainside. This thing is colossal, weighing in at a jaw-dropping 500 tons. Wrap your head around that. 500 tons of ancient rock called floating rock from the heavens. Some researchers are throwing out a wild idea that this bad boy could be a mind-blowing 16,000 years old. 16,000! Now that's the kind of history that slaps you in the face. And it's not just about the size, it's about the story. This stone, named Ishi no Hoden, which translates to the floating rock from the heavens, is linked to one of the first gods that cruised down to Japan from the skies. Legend has it, this deity rolled over the country in a sky ship made of, you guessed it, a giant rock, calling it the Heavenly Rock Ship. I mean, come on, ancient Japanese gods cruising around in stone spaceships? That's some next-level mythological road trip. Now, theorists are buzzing, and they're not buying the official story that it's just a stone tomb. I mean, seriously, why would you go through all that trouble to build a tomb? And how the heck did ancient people, without fancy tools, pull off creating this colossal thing? Some folks think there were secret tools in play, like some kind of ancient mechanical drill that pulverized rocks. However, no traces of processing on the lower edge of the megalith, and nada around the site, no signs of tools whatsoever. So, I'm left wondering, who were these ancient architects, and what kind of advanced know-how were they packing? Maybe you've got some wild theories. Drop them in the comments. It's a head-scratcher, and we're just scratching the surface, man. 2. The Ancient Megaliths of Baalbek now we move off from Ishi no Hoden to the ancient city of Heliopolis, a city built by Alexander the Great way back in the 4th century BC. Now this place is like a time capsule, with roots stretching a mind-blowing 9,000 years into the past. Can you even fathom that? So, beneath all the Greek and Roman vibes, there's this ancient city called Baalbek, and it's shrouded in mystery. What's the deal with those colossal stone foundations, huh? We're talking about rocks that weigh a staggering 800 to 1,200 tons apiece and have been chilling for tens of thousands of years, dating back to the Neolithic period. How did our ancestors, without iPhones and laptops, become the Stone Age bosses, manipulating these megalithic stones like it was child's play? All right, take a look at this fascinating idea. According to proponents of the ancient astronaut theory, the colossal stone platform in Baalbek could have served as a landing site for beings from outer space. Can you believe it? The flawlessly aligned megalithic stones, each weighing between 800 and 1200 tons, which is double the weight of Ishi no Hoden, pose a significant mystery. How on earth did they manage to hoist and arrange these blocks so precisely atop one another? Even the cranes we've got today can't match this ancient engineering wizardry were these stones, seemingly way beyond ancient engineering know-how, moved around by some mysterious forces or maybe, just maybe, little green men with a strong grip? As we venture into the enigma that is Baalbek, you can't help but wonder about the cosmic conspiracy. What's the real deal behind these giant rocks? I mean, seriously, what purpose did these stones serve? And is there a cosmic connection that turns this ancient site into a meet-up spot for beings from beyond? The mind boggles, my friends. 
It truly does. 3. The Giant Blocks of Sacsayhuaman High in the Andes, the ancient citadel of Sacsayhuaman stands as a testament to human ingenuity and, perhaps, a touch of the divine. Constructed by the Inca civilization with massive stones that defy explanation, it captivates the imagination. The sheer enormity of these stones, some weighing over 100 tons, raises a profound question. How did an ancient people, devoid of advanced tools, carve and transport these monolithic marvels to create such a breathtaking fortress? Now, when you get up close and personal with these stones, it's a whole new level of mystery. I'm talking precision that challenges the very essence of ancient engineering. Edges so tight, you couldn't slip a paper between them. No power tools, no laser levels, just ancient craftsmen doing their thing. The walls of Sacsayhuaman aren't just guarding a city. They're holding on to secrets that time tried to swipe away. The arrangement of these colossal rocks forms a zigzag pattern, a geometric puzzle that makes you question if there's some sacred geometry playbook at play. Were the Inca using a cosmic calculator to lay down these stones, or is there an ancient language encoded in these zigzags that's beyond our grasp? The stones of Sacsayhuaman leave us with a compelling mystery, an invitation to explore the unknown and question the limits of human achievements. 4. The Ancient Site of Puma Punku Our next destination in this journey takes us straight to the ancient site at Puma Punku. This place is like the ancient version of a puzzle that'll make your head spin. Picture this, massive stone structures, some weighing up to 130 tons, scattered like giant Lego pieces in the Bolivian highlands. And we're not talking about just any rocks. We're talking about precision cuts and fittings that even a modern-day laser would struggle to pull off. All right, hold on tight, because what we've got here is straight-up mind-bending. These H-blocks at Puma Punku, you can't find anything like them anywhere else on the planet. And you know what's wild? Mainstream archaeologists are scratching their heads, saying these blocks were made by hand with some ancient stone and metal tools. But they've never actually found these tools. Like, where the heck did they disappear to? Now, here's where it gets mysterious. These H-blocks, they're not just random chunks of stone. They're like pieces of an ancient puzzle. Stick them together and boom, you got yourself a solid wall. It's like the Lego of the ancient world, but on steroids. You slap another block on top, or maybe this thing was balancing on another rock, and it all fits together like it was designed by some ancient architect genius. No mortar, no binding agent, nada. It's like they had some ancient version of superglue, but we can't find a trace of it. How the hell did they pull that off? Was it some lost ancient technology, or did these ancient builders have a cosmic blueprint that we're missing out on? These stone blocks are no joke. They had to be cut with some next-level tech, and that's where Chris Dunn, a machinist and tool maker, comes into the picture. We put a Puma Punku stone sample through the ringer. We're talking laser cut, diamond wheel cut, the whole tools. Under a microscope, Chris found some crazy differences between the modern cuts and the ancient one. Petrification on the laser cut, circular tool marks on the diamond saw cut, and the ancient surface? Well, that's a whole different ball game. We're talking about a sophisticated tool that might not even exist today. How the heck did a so-called primitive society pull off stone carving with the sharpest, most high-tech tools we have today? It's a puzzle, my friends, and it's got me questioning everything. 5. The Ancient Structures of Gigantia All right, folks, let's talk Malta. A tiny blip on the map with a big mystery vibe. We're talking seven megalithic sites, each screaming ancient secrets, scattered across this 122-square-mile wonderland. Gigantia, Hagerkim, Menajdra, Tarxian, Tahagrat, and Skorba. These names sound like the guest list for an epic Neolithic party. Crafted from Maltese limestone, these temples are like ancient engineering on steroids. But here's the kicker. How the hell did our ancient pals lift these multi-ton blocks into place with nothing but basic tools? It's like trying to build Stonehenge with a butter knife. Now, let's dive into the temporal paradox. 
The oldest structures, like Gigantia, are the granddaddies of the bunch. Throwing a curveball at the whole evolution narrative, mainstream scholars are throwing around dates like 3600 BC, slapping the primitive stone tools only label on these builders. But hold on a sec. Let me get this straight. You are telling me these ancient architects were on point, building these massive temples, but there's not a single inscription to hint at how they pulled it off? It doesn't add up. And then, we've got the Maltese folks adding a spicy layer to the mystery, giants from the stars, led by a goddess. I mean, who needs sci-fi when you've got local traditions like these? Skepticism meets intrigue as we mix in 17th century claims of Gianfrancesco Abella stumbling upon bones, skulls, and giant teeth scattered across the island. Are we talking about some real-life giants or just a wild episode of Malta CSI? The megalithic temples of Malta are playing mind games with us, blurring the lines between reality and myth. The stones are calling, my friends, and they've got stories to tell. What's the real story behind Malta's megalithic temples? And who were the architects that left us scratching our heads? It's a Neolithic mystery worth cracking. 6. The Karnak Stone Megaliths Our last destination on this trip takes us to the northwest coast of France, just south of Brittany, where things get real weird and ancient at the seaside village of Karnak. Picture this. Over 3,000 megalithic stones, like ancient cosmic chess pieces, lined up for over two miles. Now, these Karnak stones, carved straight out of the local rock formations, were standing tall between 4500 to 2500 BC, back when the Stone Age was in its prime. It's like the largest collection of standing stones in the world, a prehistoric Stonehenge on steroids. Now, archaeologists are scratching their heads and I don't blame them. We're talking about massive granite blocks, some heavier than a freaking truck, casually chilling in Karnak. Legends even say that giants were the architects here, but who knows? But here's where it gets wild. Why would our ancient buddies go through all the trouble of hauling and stacking these massive rocks? Were they just flexing their Stone Age muscles, or was there something deeper going on? I mean, think about it. Who were these ancient architects, and what kind of cosmic wisdom did they have that we're still trying to figure out today? The Karnak stones, my friends, are like a Neolithic enigma waiting to be unraveled. What secrets do these ancient rocks hold? And why did our ancestors go through all the trouble of creating the largest concentration of megalithic wonders on the planet? It's a journey into the unknown, and I'm all in. Share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.